Ladies and gentlemen, the banners for the Shilonen as well as Shiori banners have been revealed. All you gotta do is go to the notices here to the events tab and we get to see them right here. We've got the Forge Fire's Blessing. We see here Shilonen, Sikole, we see Candice as well as Dory. So if you're a beginner of the game and you just played the game and now you're in like Natalin because you can do, apparently do the skip thing. You're looking at this banner like, hmm, should I go for this banner? Now, generally, both of these five stars are pretty good, and since they are both releasing at the same time, we can expect there to be a quote-unquote geo meta right now. So there's that, as well as the four stars are just not that great. Cole is okay, but you can get her for free. Candice also not that great. Dory not that great. So as in, in general, this isn't the greatest banner of all time. In fact, I would only recommend you guys to go for this banner if you want the five stars. The weapon banner, if you do go for any of the five stars, this is generally a good one because you can use the five star weapons on both of them. They both will do you well and there's that and also there's a the new four stars i don't know how good they are but could be pretty interesting now as for shilinen she's a pretty good character and i definitely recommend that you guys do go for shilinen and Chiori, i do not personally have myself but she is a pretty good character she has great sub dps and yes she's just really really strong in terms of sub dps and just geo in general shilinen a She's going to be a pretty great character. Now, I did make a video already on what you guys should be doing for Shilonen as in terms of how to build her. If you guys want to watch that, it's going to be in the top right of your screen right now. So click on that if you guys are interested. Other characters such as Kole's, uh, Candice. Candice is generally just a very niche character with most of her value comes from her ultimate in which she increases normal attack damage which isn't really that great. I mean, it definitely has a present a presence, but it's just it's just not that great and I don't see a lot of characters that can utilize this. Um, other than maybe Aito, Aito can. In general, the damage bonus is okay. And it's definitely usable. It's not that it's not. It's just that her other stuff in her kit make her just an all right character, right? You can get some increased damage here. You can get some increased stuff. And her constellations at C6 will allow you to do just a little bit more. But I don't think she's, oh, that crazy. And therefore, uh, it, it just doesn't bring that much value to the banner now if you don't have any better characters to fill the slot of a dendro sub dps or something like that ole could be okay but generally dendro traveler is just much better and i would use that over kole there are instances where kole could be better but generally dendro traveler is just easier to obtain you have all the constellations if you just play through the story and some dendro oculus so not necessarily needing any of the constellations here they do help a little bit like increase energy recharge increase some damage here and there um and elemental mastery but it, it's not the greatest thing of all time um i have to mention now i did build dory um i made her a pretty interesting uh dps character rather than a healer which was a pretty funny thing but generally she is a healer uh most of her stuff you know it, it comes from the healing okay um her elemental skill doesn't do that much her normal attacks doesn't do that much and yeah she's just generally not that great of character and i don't i don't want to say go for the banner because these characters are good they aren't that great they aren't and they they're very niche in what they do but yes, uh, Chiori, pretty good. Um, Chilonen is also pretty good. So those are safe characters to go for. But the four stars in there, is, they're just not great. And uh, yeah, that's uh, that's what I think of that. Now, the only thing good about this is that if you do go for the five star characters, the weapon banner is automatically a guaranteed good pull. Um, unless you lose the 50 or 75, 25. But other than that, it's good. Uh, so you don't have to worry too too much about that so Yeah, that's pretty much it. Thank you for watching. Hope you guys did enjoy. Let me know what you guys think Are you guys going to summon for any of these characters? If you are, let me know in the comments. I'll see you guys in the next one very soon. Goodbye